Emerson Umningagua, the president, has taken action to exempt a number of state companies that are included in the Matapa Investment Fund MIA from the rules governing public procurement. Imningagwa published Statutory Instrument 156 of 2023, a peace Zimbabwe legislation that unifies many state-owned businesses under one roof and renames the Sovereign Wealth Fund SWF to Matapa Investment Fund. Finance Minister Mthilim Cube has consistently supported the creation of the fund, arguing that parastatals dispersed across many ministries were an outdated model that other nations were moving away from. The Matapa Investment Fund will now hold about 20 businesses, including ones in the mining, communications, energy, and agricultural sectors. However, on Friday, Umningagwa took action to declare that the companies covered by the fund will not be subject to the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Assets Act. Just a week after the renaming PPDPA. According to PPDPA Section 39, which states that the President may, after consulting with the authority by notice in the Gazette, exempt from the application of the Act a prescribed public entity on specified grounds. The order recorded under General Notice 1546 of 2023 moved to exempt the state enterprises. And in light of the fact that the public entity listed below competes in its market, it must be specified for exemption purposes in accordance with Section 39 above. As a result, and in accordance with the President's authority as stated above, I thus give notice that the public entity listed below is excluded from the Act's applicability. Market observers have been divided over the most recent events, with one school of thought supporting the moves on the grounds that they will give state enterprises time to catch their breath and align to productivity. They further claim that the action will submit the businesses to regulations set forth by a single body, closing all loopholes that previously allowed politicians to profit from the businesses. But some worry that the removal of taxpayer checks and balances has left a gaping hole for exploitation by a select group of well-connected people.